what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new up in this place my name is Ntwana No and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for clicking on this video once again um today i have decided to let you guys in on what actually happened when i found out that i failed i had failed my cta um back then i have shared a little bit of this story um in a video that i did on my ca journey part two i will leave a card and then you guys can go and watch that video uh but today is just to you know speak to the many people who have finished writing their cta exams or are still um um writing their cta exams but also people who are in their third year or second years because generally failure is something that happens regardless of which year you're in right so i just want to share with you guys a little bit of stuff that was going on in my head uh stuff that i did stuff that i had <laughs> traps that i almost fell into um but i managed to pull myself out and not make bad decisions just because of that one time right so my story starts in uh, 20 17 so 2017 is the is the year that i was doing cta for the first time um it was all good man you know cta was difficult because we all know that it is difficult so i went through that year and sometime in the middle of the year i noticed that no man um i'm really really struggling with um management accounting and it it wasn't it wasn't like a surprise to me because management accounting has been bothering me since first year it was one of my weaknesses i think it still is one of my weaknesses to be honest um and i realized that no man i'm struggling through this module so i spoke to the people my friends who i attended class with at the time and you know generally everyone was struggling with the module so we wrote exams at the end of the year i went into that exam i was i felt prepared you know but when that paper came in i sat down and i read through it i'm like wow what is happening here and i remember very vividly in my mind um asking myself but why do i need to do this do i really is this the only thing that i can do in my life isn't there anything else that i can do that has nothing to do with management accounting so i wrote that exam and i felt it meant that no this this is not gonna end well you know that that's that bottom that pit feeling you feel in your tummy when you know this you flaunted this exam and you don't know what's happening so um results came back uh from that exam and in at tax actually we finished writing city exams like sometime in october and then results come back maybe the first week or the second week of november so by mid-november i knew that i had failed and it was not a flat fail it was actually an admission to write the supplementary so um i got that uh email that that said i need to write um a supplementary and the supplementary was literally a week after the results had come out right so i had to prepare for that week it was the most difficult week i've ever been through ever so um you know the thing the stigma about about um supplementary is that if you're writing a supplementary yes you failed there's no chance that you could pass this up and whatnot and it is the same mentality that i had at the time i was so exhausted from studying the whole year that when this week came i saw it as a punishment that why didn't you actually just pass this thing from the beginning you know so to me in my mind and my mindset at the time was that week was punishment for the fact that you couldn't pass this module the first time around and that that's what i went into the supplementary thinking um luckily enough at the time i wasn't the only one who had actually failed the module i had a couple of friends who you know when finished writing the actual exam before the sub they were like no guys we'll, i'll see you guys in the sub like we were all so sure that we're not gonna pass this and we actually didn't because what you expect guys is what happens right you attract what you expect so we went into the sub and we wrote the sub and still after the sub man i could feel that no man this this module is gonna pull me back this module i'm gonna have to redo this again 
um results of the supplementary came back and i had actually failed like a a, a perfect fail if i can put it that way um i was in the 40s uh for for the sub uh obviously you need a 50 so i didn't make the 50 percent mark so i literally failed management accounting in 2017. um upon failing when i found out the first time that i need to write a sub i started applying to unisa because tax has this rule that um if you fail a certain number of modules then they don't accept you back into the cta program so january came <laughs> i remember january 2018 came it was time to come back i didn't know what to do guys like i had no idea so um a friend of mine called me and she's like hey dude so what do we do now we had both failed the previous year and we just decided you know what did so let's just take december off and not think about this we'll talk again in jan so she calls me up and she, um, i think it's about the first week and you know we need to decide whether we're going back to tax because tax was opening i think the second week of jan or we're going to go to unisa because unisa was opening in february so we need to make we needed to make a decision so that we can either register at tax or not register and wait for unisa's registrations so we had a chat and then she was like um let's just go back to tax man and you know see what's what's happening see if you know just like our emotion at the time so we went um, went back to to Hatfield and we attended the first class obviously a tax CTA the first class you ever attend is a test where they're sort of refreshing your third year knowledge so we did that test and we we sort of passed it because obviously we had spent the whole year um, trying to pass the whole thing right so we did that test and then um, after that we just literally kept on going to classes and we kept on going to classes every week every day and and then Unisa sent me an email and asked me to come to their campus in Sunnyside to register and when I got this email I hadn't registered a tax yet because like I'm not sure if I want to do this again I'm not sure if I want to come back here so um, I, I sort of mised Unisa you guys and I think it's the best decision I've ever taken to be honest one of the best I've taken some really good decisions about my life but like this is one of the best ones that I've done for myself and I'm not in any way trying to look down on UNISA or UNISA students or program or whatever I'm just saying at that time it was not the right place for me to have gone after I failed my honors right so I missed UNISA and I guess I unconsciously had decided that you know what i'm gonna give this thing a try again at tax fortunately enough they had offered me um a place in their cta um year again so i did qualify to repeat because i had only failed one module so the thing about failing cta is that if you fail one module guys you need to go and repeat everything and the reason why you need to repeat all the modules even the ones that you've passed is because of that cta certificates that you need to get so the certificate of the theory in accounting is a certificate that says this person has in one year passed all the four modules if you don't pass it in one year you can't get the cta and that's why that's what makes that honors year and that cta year so difficult so i went back um i went back to tax um, I attended classes and you know it was a weird feeling I remember beating myself up so much about it especially during graduation season when people I was in the class within the last year are now there by sports center graduating and I'm sitting in a class it was draining it was I remember that year I went through a lot I actually um, started going to therapy that year um, at, at, at campus um so i had a thera i had a therapist that helped me through the adjustment of the year that helped me through understanding and accepting that i had failed and that is one of the biggest things that has happened to me during 
my failure or that year is that I got to I got to be exposed to therapy sessions and working through something that cut you so deeply with someone else you know speaking to someone and not just anyone someone who actually went to school had a qualification to help you through issues like this so i started seeing a therapist um in 2018 um mom and dad if you're watching this you probably don't know about that but <laughs> yeah i did i did see a therapist for quite some time to help me um accept the situation that i was in to help me come to terms with the fact that my friends are moving forward and i'm still stuck in that year and you know through that therapy session that's where i learned resilience a lot that's where i learned that you know it's your own pace it is your own journey just because someone has has taken a step forward and you haven't moved it doesn't mean that your world is not stuck it doesn't mean like that is the end of your life you know so one thing the therapy sessions helped a lot second thing is that it was now getting easier in cta to be honest because i didn't have to redo notes i didn't have to redo questions anymore because they recycled the material of course there were new um things that i had to practice with things like the previous year's exams that i wrote obviously i would then now use that material as practice but to be honest, it was easier because even if I felt I, I, I fell behind with some of the modules, I had the notes already. So I could just go in and brush up on that. Another thing that I did differently, honestly, in 2018 during my second attempt is a lot of consultations, a lot of emails between me and the lecturer trying to understand why don't I get this concept? What is the problem? What am I missing? You know, and a lot of times students are reluctant to use the services of lecturers. If you're watching this video, you know that sometimes you do not consult because of the process of consulting, the email, the appointments, you have to show up and all of that. But honestly, guys, that service is there for you to, to, to help you and to make you uh, 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 better at your work, right? So come end of the year, I was prepared for those exams, guys. And my mindset had now changed. I started seeing a supplementary as a second opportunity to prove myself, you know. So I wrote, uh, luckily I wrote my exams and I paused everything first time, no sub, whatever. So... It was actually a learning curve and that's how I got up. I think the biggest thing for me on this was the therapy sessions. Guys, don't look down on therapy. If you need a therapist, I know Tax offers that service for free. Um, I think all universities do have um, that service for their students for free. Go book a consultation service. Tell them the stuff that is, you know, draining you, the stuff that is hurting you, stuff that you having problems to come to terms with because it helps a lot right so that is how i got back and i bounced back in my um uh, my second year on my my second attempt actually of cta and i actually paused everything um first attempt with the first exam i didn't have to write the supplementary uh straight after that i just had to do my board course and write itc i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you found it um informative i know i have repeated quite a lot of stuff that i said in previous videos but to be honest it is what it is that's what it is it's about the mindset with cta it's about changing a little bit of the way you think um just to align yourself you know so that's that's basically what happened and that's how i got back up and i conquered um my honest yeah so if you like this video please do give it a, a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you found helpful in this video i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe bye